This is Paranormal Short Session 4 by Keith Evans at an undisclosed location. Today's date is Monday the 21st of November 2022. My YouTube channel is called Paranormal Short Sessions by Keith Evans. Hope you will Watch, like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. All right, tonight I'm going to be using the um, the Flare C5 camera, my mill meter. Right now the mill meter is showing uh, 0 0.1 milligauss for the uh, electromagnetic energy and a 72.6 degrees Fahrenheit. The heat was on. The heat's off right now. This location does have uh, electrical energy. It is a fully functioning and operating uh, single-family dwelling. Um, I'm at a neutral location where I've in the past received only 0, 0.0 milligauls. So there's no electrical current interfering with the millimeter readings. And I'm sitting still. I'm uh, going to be doing this from a, one location, just like I would be talking to a person. And if I'm not wandering around, the ghost of spirits might feel comfortable, or at least more comfortable, uh, communicating with me that way. I'm also going to be using the Obelisk 5. I haven't turned it on yet. And I'm also going to be using the uh, Envoy. The Envoy, I'm going to be using um, yes or no function. Uh, I did have it on for uh, one of the uh, promos. It's going to go on to uh, um, not YouTube, but Facebook and Instagram to advertise uh, Paranormal Short Session 4. And uh, so it says no. Um, Anyway, I'm going to be using the electromagnetic energy. Uh, as far as you have three choices uh, at the knobs below, I'm going to use a knob all the way to the left, which is just electromagnetic energy. That way, theoretically, ghosts and spirits can use their electromagnetic energy to pick a yes or no answer. The, the button in the middle, I don't know if you can see it, uh, that one is um, temperature, and then the button... All the way to the right is the ghost, I suppose, a touch. Touch, I don't know where, but touch the uh, envoy at some location, and that's supposed to choose a yes or a no. Uh, temperature change can also choose a yes or a no. Um, so far, looking at the uh, millimeter, I haven't seen too much of a temperature change, even though I thought it was 72.9 earlier. The heat is turned off, so maybe it'll cool down right fast. I see 72.3, 72.1 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and turn up the uh, envoy. Uh, I'm going to be turning up the electromagnetic energy. Are there any ghosts or spirits that would like to talk to me tonight? Not getting a yes, not getting a no. I got a yes. Okay. Maybe that was two yeses. Every time it makes that beep beep, it's someone choosing a yes and a yes. All right, my second question is going to be, uh, are there two ghost spirits that would like to talk? No. Okay, only two ghost spirits answered me, though. Maybe they all chimed in at the same time. 
Okay, I'm going to be using the Oblis 5B, uh, and I'm going to be asking, what are the names of the ghosts and spirits that I'm talking to tonight? Took later. I got a yes. Okay, what was took later? Well, let me also check and see if there's any cold spots. No. No. I don't see any cold spots. The floor is right warm. Uh, there's some furniture over here on the countertop, which uh, is wooden, and that seems to be right warm. On this side is another uh, piece of furniture. Uh, there's a, a opening to a uh, another room there, which uh, that floor is down lower. There's a step to go down lower. So that floor... Uh, that's probably cool because the uh, heater is directly behind me. Okay. Looks like we got another no there. Oh, that's my feet. So you can tell the uh, the yellow. I'm sorry. I, I was looking at it but didn't have the camera on it. The yellow uh, is more or less the color of uh, your warm body. Kind of yellowish orange, I guess. Let's see. All right. Was that a no? You don't think uh, yellow is a color on my feet? No. Are there any ghost spirits that know? Uh, Anything about me that you would like to tell the people? Anything about me, how I've been feeling? Any problems that I might have? I know ghost spirits like to talk about me and not talk about themselves. Kind of like observers who don't have a very good long-term memory, but they can tell you what's going on at the moment. No takers? The two ghosts or spirits or more that are here aren't going to choose a word from the Obelisk 5. I'm uh, pointing to it right now. I don't think you can see my finger there. You can see it. I'm pointing to the Obelisk 5 right now. For ghost of spirits that don't know what the Alice 5 is. Uh, you can use your electromagnetic energy to choose a word from the Alice Five's database. And uh, let the ghost of spirits know I'm going to be using this uh, on YouTube. So if you don't want to be a part of that, well, don't choose a word. Don't cause any type of electromagnetic spike or temperature change because we can see that. Wait. Don't. Sandy. I've got Liberty Waves Sandy. Hi Sandy, my name is Keith. Could Liberty be a person's name? Possibly. Hi Liberty. Could it be Liberty Waves? Okay, I'll wave back. I'm waving Liberty. That's the way I interpret it. Um, I just want the ghost of spirits to know that none of this equipment will harm them. To the best of my knowledge, it won't. Uh, by using uh, the Obelisk 5B, you're going to be draining your own energy. So, to let you know that. Also, by choosing a yes or no answer from the Envoy, you're going to be draining your energy. I don't know if the millimeter detecting you will... As far as detecting your electromagnetic energy, I don't think it's going to drain your electromagnetic energy. I might be wrong. Now, if you create a cold spot, you're actually going to draw energy from the environment. 
So if you want to do that, that's fine. I'll catch that cold spot. I'll just let you know when I'm going to hold the camera up, and then I'm going to hold it up out towards in front of me, and then you can choose, you can drain the energy from the environment, and I'll cause a colder spot. Sandy after both. Low. Low. Sandy was S A N D Y after is A F T E R. Both is B O T H and low. After both low. Well, like I say, I'm going to be using this on uh, YouTube, so I hope. Uh, you go to spirits don't mind. YouTube is just a uh, a video presentation of what the camera is picking up. It doesn't trap you or harm you or keep you from going on your merry way as a ghost or spirit. I'll let you know for the ghost of spirits who may not have been alive during photos and Video cameras and all of that. All right. Let's let the uh, ghost of spirits know if you want to create a cold spot. Uh, I'm holding up the uh, C5 thermal camera. It's uh, made by Flair. So if you want to create a cold spot, go for it. I'm holding up in front of me, and uh, most of the areas that look cold are uh, off to the far right. That is a uh, the bottom part of a window. I don't know why it's whiting out like that, because I am uh, I'm trying to move it back to see if somehow it's out of focus. There we go. And all those cold spots look fairly normal. I've seen them before. It's just part of the environment. Straight ahead out through that door is a... Uh, is a uh, step down and that floor is colder. And that's the furthest uh, point away from the heater, which is to my back. Well, there we go. Sorry about that. I don't see any cold spots. I'm getting the white out a lot. I don't understand that. Well, let me see if I can readjust. There we go. All right. We'll have to try this cold spot sometime in the future. All right. Ah. All right. I asked the ghost of spirits to tell the people what's been going on with me. And I have uh, both Lou and Tim. Looks like Tim. T I M. Hi, Tim. My name is Keith Evans. Uh, I think that makes Sandy and Tim. Nice to meet you, too. Um, hey, Tim, do you know what's going on with me, uh, say, health-wise? I didn't get any response. Well, anyway, I think it's a, a kidney stone. It's right painful, but it's uh, over the last four or five days, it seems to be steadily moving. It started on the uh, left side. I thought it was just sciatic nerve pain from a injury that's in my uh, lower back, and uh, it radiates over to the right or left side this time actually it radiated to the right side I'm sorry and I thought it was just that you know the back pain from the sciatic nerve 
and then uh, it moved. It moved to the center of my uh, back. And I thought, well, that's strange. Usually when it kicks in and starts to hurt, it hurts longer. And then uh, it kind of moved to my lower abdomen. And I thought, well, maybe it's appendicitis. And then it even moved lower. I drank a lot of water because I thought, well, maybe it's a kidney stone. So this actually moved lower now. So uh, it could be more than one kidney stone. So, But it does feel better. So if it was a kidney stone, I think I've already passed at least one. But uh, anyway, Tim, do you think I'm wrong about the kidney stone? What about you, Sandy? I, I might be asking you a question that's not within your specialty. <laughs> and if so, I'll, I'll move on and ask you something else. Uh, this one is for both uh, Sandy and Tim. Uh, as far as the envoy, which I'm pointing to here. Uh, the envoy... Uh, is a yes or no answer and you can use your electromagnetic energy to choose your yes or no sandy and tim did you live in this area when you were alive okay i'm not getting anything if you like you can use the obelisk five to uh choose an answer Well, it could be that they don't have enough energy left, or maybe they're deciding who should go first. How about Sandy going first, if you do have enough electromagnetic energy left to choose a uh, a yes or no answer from the Obelisk 5? Hmm. No response. Looking at the millimeter. That click was the chair I'm sitting on. Uh, 73.5 degrees Fahrenheit. 0, 0.0 milligauls. Alright, let's go back and see if we can find a cold spot here. See, in the doorway, that's that's not a, uh, a object or a person or anything, even though it looks interesting. That's just the background of, of what's in the room. I've already checked that before I went on camera. So I know it may look like someone's staying in there, but it's not. It's just the items in the background. And it, you know... It's sitting on the floor, and it uh, isn't as cold as the floor around it. So, Now, if there's any ghost or spirits that want to absorb some of the uh, energy from the environment and form a cold spot, do it right in front of me. You can do it any place. Uh, I don't know. Maybe you're doing it, and maybe it's such a small area that my camera can't detect it. But right now, the floor in uh, the room that I'm in is kind of pinkish in spots with yellow and orange in other spots, like in the center. Now, the floor out through the open door is, I don't know, maybe dark blue or purple. It's much colder, but it's a step down. Now... getting light out again okay when you turn to my left that's furniture and a countertop and that is uh, warmer that says I'm running out of space so I don't know how long I have but uh, again this has been Keith Evans uh, 
This has been Paranormal Short Session 4 at an undisclosed location. And today's date is Monday the 21st of November 2022. Hope you will watch my YouTube channel, Paranormal Short Sessions by Keith Evans. Hope you will uh, watch, like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. Even though it'll give me a message, it's still moving. Uh, we're still looking at a millimeter temperature of 72.5 degrees Fahrenheit and 0, 0.0 milligol. 